Echelon got a positive ID on your target from the morgue security cameras. A guy named Vyacheslav Grinko. How do I find him? By his license plate. And if he's not with his car? Then his driver will be. Grab him and make him talk. Don't be afraid to use force. Who? Me? Grim's daughter just pulled up the schematics on the Ministry. They've got a laser security grid online in the courtyard. So I stay out of the courtyard. Don't let them trigger any alarms at all. We still don't have any official approval from the Joint Chiefs for this operation. So one slip up and it's mission over. Hmm. I don't remember there ever being any lasers in the courtyard. But anyways, guys, welcome back. We are now on our third mission, Defense Ministry here. This one's a bit, a little bit lengthy, so... Um, I'll still probably put it all into one video, and, uh, yeah, you guys can watch what you want to watch. We need to rappel down here now. Into the window. And I think I fixed the lighting, so hopefully it is fixed. I've pretty much put it up all, as, as much as I possibly can, uh, because it was really dark. And I need to start using night vision more often, but the thing is, with night vision, you can't really see where the shadows end, so it makes it kind of difficult to stay in the shadows. That's why I don't like using night vision all that much. Can I do that? Let's see. Nope, get down, Sam. I want to see if I could have... Uh... What are you doing? That's not what I want to do. Here, let's try this. Let's go... Ugh. No, I guess he can. It's probably... It's probably not a big enough gap. Or it's too big of a gap. I wanted to know if I could have, like, fell down on top of him, but apparently not. Uh, I should probably shoot that camera before I start ro wandering over there. There we go. Turn the lights out. I know it already seemed like the lights were out, didn't it? But there's that one light in the, in the middle there. Okay, let's go. A lot of these rooms are still pretty fucking dark, even with the lights off. I need to be careful here, because there's a douchebag. Eventually he walks away and like never comes back because when you come back to this room there's only one guy. I don't know how that happens or where he goes exactly. But uh, he goes somewhere. Maybe he goes out for a smoke break or something. But right now we need to be heading down to the parking lot and there's a couple cameras on the stairwell so I should probably go ahead and shoot him out since I'm going to have to come back up this way. Let's wait. I don't want to get caught. Uh, I could just go underneath the camera. I could. But I'm not going to. There we go. One down, one more to go, I think. Either one or two. I think it's only one. And go. Just get right here. Camera. And now we should be home free. Parking lot should be at the bottom. Right here. There should be one more camera right there there. Probably didn't even need to shoot that one out because I'm going to be sticking to the shadows for the most part in here. I mean, you can make, you can get a rough idea where the shadows in, but I just like having night vision off because it makes it a lot easier to see where the light is and where the shadows are. Now let's go harass this guy while he takes a piss. The driver. Dun 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 What the hell? I'm going to ask you some questions. When I think you're lying, I'll do this. I... Who do you work I... for? I just love Grinko. Tell me about him. He used to be Spetsnaz. Now he's mercenary. He works for President Nicholas. Where do I find Grinko? He is meeting Mass. In the elevator, by the courtyard. Who's Mass? Philippe Mass, some computer guy. He has access to Nikoladze's office. What's this meeting about? I don't know. I swear, it's gotta be something bad if Nikolaj is willing to see Grinko face to face. I need you to understand that we never talked. I understand. Good. Drivers don't usually have that much information. Anyways, get out of here, ponytail guy. I want to hear what Grinko and Mass talk about in that elevator. I'll need to deactivate the courtyard laser grid to get in position. Then oh, that's why they're... That's why, because eventually I deactivate the laser grid. And then we can kind of wander around the courtyard. No problem. But there should be a guy that actually came down here now. 
Yeah, he's standing over there. So I'm going to have to sneak up behind his ass. And donkey punch! I do love my donkey punches. I, I could distract him. But for some reason, distractions in this game are really weird. And sometimes they don't even go to the location of the distraction. So I'd rather just sneak up behind him. And grab him! I got you, you motherfucker! And I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually put him like right here. So when I fall down, because I do come down this elevator later on, it'll be a nice little cushion for me to fall onto. Not like he'll still be there, but if he was, and he's not even in the right position. Let's move him, just in case he is here. I doubt he will be, but you never know. There we go. That should be perfect. I'll fall down right from that little piping right there, and I'll land right on his body. Then I'll take back his face, and then I'll run for my fucking life. So we'll have to get out of here at that point. Alright. Back up we go. There should only be one guy in that room now, because the other one apparently decided to bail out early on work. This, that's not it. Gotta keep going. Keep on going, going. I think that's it right there, but what's up here? What is up here? Uh, nothing? Oh, there's a med kit. There's another nice collectible for me. Another med kit. Alright. Here we go. See, there's only one guy. Where the other guy went, I have no fucking idea, but it makes this room a lot easier. Just sneak up behind this asshole and grab- Oh, what the hell was that? That was bullshit. I grabbed his ass. Luckily, there's no one around to uh, really do anything about it. Come over here. Let me just. Ugh. Sweet dreams. Alright. Should be good to go now. And you'd think maybe, okay, maybe the guy went in here or something, but no. This actually leads out to a window, so unless he jumped out the window, there's no fucking way. Well, this leads out to a balcony right here. I believe. So yeah, unless he jumped out the off the balcony, there's no way he went this way. Alright. I need a kernel down here. We're trying to get through a retinal scanner. I passed Colonel Kibashvili on my patrol. Want me to send him down? God, God no. I, I hate, hate that guy. We'll find somebody else with the lamp. Apparently everybody hates this guy, because in here, I think they're making, making him a cake or something, or making him some food. And, uh, you'll see what happens. Uh. That I'm gonna do a quick save. I thought the kitchen was closed. It's a special order for Colonel Kabaishvili. Ah, yep, excellent. Same guy. <laughs> May I? Please. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, apparently everybody hates this guy. He's a huge douchebag. Anyways, this is the only part in this level where you actually have to use a distraction, otherwise you're screwed. So, put that over there. Wait for this guy to go around. I don't know why he takes this long route around, but he decides to go all the way around the table. Alright, go, 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 go. Go, Sam. Alright, we're good. And then this asshole wants to come in here and turn the light on. So, I'm going to go over here. And boom! That's what you get for turning off my, on my fucking lights. Jerk. Do, 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 do. What's really funny is like these guys, eventually, I think one of them comes out and uh, he'll be like curious why the light's off. Because he's this guy right here is supposed to turn the light back on. But the light was technically off before he went and turned the light on. So. Why he would be curious as to why the lights are off are beyond me, because he didn't know that the guy went to go turn the lights on, right? Okay. Yeah. 
that's just my little ranting. But uh, I'm going to quick save just in case I fuck this up. I'm going to fall down on this guy. There we go. And he's knocked out. Sam apparently has an iron foot of justice. Put you right there. There you go. Good night. Good night, my little honey badger. Let's see. I think I can fall on this guy, but I've actually I've actually fell on him before, and then that guy got alerted. So I need to be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save, just in case. And drop down. All right. Cool. Good. That worked out. I'm also gonna have to move these guys because I'm gonna have to call down that colonel. I think it's the same one. It might be a different one, but it might, I think it's the same one everybody hates. But I'm gonna have to call him down for the retinal scanner. Alright. This guy is completely fucking oblivious. Like, what are they paying him for? Are they literally paying him to stare at a blank wall all day and scratch his nutsack? Because that's, that's what it looks like. That is exactly what it looks like. And his stupid hairline. Look at that. He, he really needs to dye his hair. Like, it, it's okay if you have black hair and you have some gray like Sam does, but this guy has, like, s like s serious reddish-brown hair. And then he has, like, the gray underneath, and it just looks awful. It looks awful, man. You need to dye that shit. Alright. Now we just need to, uh... Go ahead and use the computer. Colonel should be coming down. You've got an incoming colonel, Fisher. Make the most of him. You'll need him hey, I'm in here. If you want to See? The oh, that's who it is. It's a colonel. That's detailed intelligence. But yeah, that was him freaking out because the lights were off. Yeah, so it doesn't actually say which colonel this is, but I assume it's the one that everybody hates. And I have fucked this up before, so I need to be careful. Because he sits down, and it makes it a little bit more difficult to actually grab him. He takes a sweet old time. Patience, once again, this game requires a lot of patience. But that's alright. I can uh, entertain myself in times of needingness of patience. So we just had to grab this asshole, and can I grab him? There we go. I gotcha. You and your stupid fucking beret. Come on over here. I'm going to shove your eye sockets into this machine. Now you see this? These are the guys that fucking hate your ass. Now, get your eyes in there. Oh my god, that guy just twitched. That was fucking weird. Alright. Now, go to sleep with these guys. Good night. Wait a second. Oh, okay. The door opens back up, I was about to say. I'm going to have to use him for the retinal scanner again. Just a little precaution. Alright. And you're dead. That's pretty much all I use the gun for in this game, is killing the cameras. I mean, if I get into a sticky situation where a guard's usually shooting at me, then I end up just reloading a quick save. The last elevator's in motion. Make with the laser, Mike Fisher. It's mission critical that we hear what Grinkle Alright, I need a quick save here, because I've, I've actually gotten stuck in the fucking laser thing before. Let's see... How do I get it out? Okay, I'm a bit confused. Uh, laser mic. Oh, F. That's why. Getting gore on your hands. Whatever Nicolad does in Azerbaijan is his own conscience's burden. You are just a tool? You're a tool. I'm the technology. I'm the cleanup man. All the blood's on yours and Nicolad's hands. I'm clean. And it is. Yeah, but that makes it you disposable. Clean. Azerbaijan? Yeah, man. The operation's goddamn immaculate. Except for the files. Nicolad's insists on keeping on his own machine. You need to talk to that. 
The nerdy that guy always gets killed. I get nervous when the bad guys start making blood jokes. That conversation's going straight to the Joint Chiefs, and we're going to need more. Nicolad's computer. You guessed it. Get inside his office and access that machine. Alarms aren't mission critical anymore. We're moving into Fifth Freedom territory. So if I wanted to, I could just beat the shit out of all these guys and go into a firefight. But since this is a 100% stealth walkthrough, we are going to try to avoid that. So I need to be sneaking over here. Go, 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 go. And now I need to climb. Climb, motherfucker, climb. I look like one of those things from The Legend of Zelda when he when he crawls across like that. One of the Sculptulas, or whatever they're called. Ugh. Come out with your hands up. I don't like this part. I really don't. Uh, but we can make it by it. It's not this part in particular. It's the part like right after this that I don't like. So this part's not too bad. Just gotta get on the elevator, wait for them to pass by, and then get on the elevator. But the part right after this, you have to be fucking quick as hell. Otherwise, you can uh, you can mess it up. Oopsie. Or pretend like that didn't happen. No, you don't. I don't think they can actually come back to back up the elevator, so that's a good thing. It still sounds like they're right outside, even though I'm supposed to be going up the elevator. Alright. So we'll pretend like that didn't happen. Shoot the camera. Disposable lock. Get that out. Go, 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 go. Open the door. Turn the light off. Now there should be a guy coming around here. Yep. Now I'm going to sneak up right behind him. When is this music going to chill out? right behind him and make sure I get the door. Oh, he sees that I turn the light off. Son of a bitch. I forgot I had to have the door closed. That's not good. Well, I fucked up, guys. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to uh, my autosave. Which is right here. Because I kind of fucked that up. I forgot I had to have the door closed. Like I said, that part's a little bit difficult. There's a lot of steps to uh, success. There may be another way of get around it, but uh, I don't really know it. So this time, let's actually be quiet when we're getting on the elevator and not just run to it like a fucking mad cat out of hell. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Let me on the elevator. All right. Good. Everything's smooth sailing so far. Smooth sailing. Floor five, floor six, floor seven. And lucky number seven. Die camera. Okay, hurry, 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 hurry. Disposable lock. I. I I'm pretty sure you can actually get this unlocked, too, in plenty of time if you really needed to. But, uh, I had that disposable lock at my hand, so I might as well use it. Wait for him to walk by. Gotta sound whore the hell out of him to know when he actually finally passes you. Shit. Uh, oh, okay, yep, I fucked that up. I fucked it up. I should have probably quick saved at that point, but uh, I did it. So you have to be extra careful, and you got to sound whore the hell out of him to make sure he's gone by, and then you have plenty of time to get up behind him and actually get through the door before it closes. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, this part right here. It's not my favorite part in the world. But it is what it is. Go on by. There you go. I'm going to sneak on by. I'm not even going to bother because I know the elevator is going to try to close, so I'm going to press the button. Oh, 
Alright. Find and access Nicolad's computer. We're actually pretty close to the end of this level. If I could just manage to get past this one fucking part, it would be great. Alright. Camera, dead. Disposal pick. Open the door. Turn off the lights. Wait for the door to close. And now we want a quick save. Alright. Let's just wait. Okay, he's walking by now. Okay, I think it's okay. I think we're good. Go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 Sam, go. Oh, shit. I didn't know he turned back. See, this is... What a pain in the ass this is. Thank God for the quick save. Alright. I think we're good. Go. Alright. Stick behind the machine. That way he can't see us. This asshole likes to look back. Now... Should be good. Go, 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 go. Oh, I made it. Fuck Yosh. I made it. Thank God. Uh, just think if you had to try to figure that out on your own the first time. What a pain in the ass it was for me. I should probably shoot that camera. This is kind of far. Hopefully the guys in the room next to me don't hear me. I'm like totally missing this thing. There we go. Alright. And I believe this is the, com the room with computer in it right here. But you can't actually get through that way. You have to actually go up to the top. And then you got to grapple down into his office. Which is what we're going to be doing. Yip -a -dip -dip -dip. Up to the top. There should be, yep, this thing right here. And let's quick save just in case. And down we go. There's also a guard here, so you do have to shoot him. Plus, you'd have to break the glass anyway, so. Somebody's shooting at me, God damn it. Oh, what the hell is this? Look at this. The accuracy in this game can be kind of stupid sometimes. I guess I should probably, uh. Hmm. Technically, it wouldn't be a 100% stealth walkthrough since I just got shot. So, I will go back to my quick save just because of that. Luckily, it's just right here, so it's not a big deal. So, I am sticking to the fact that I am going to do 100% stealth here. Even if I do tend to mess up at occasion. Okay, so now, wait for the crosshairs to stop. Now, shoot. Okay. That's what you have to do. And the glass is broken. Okay. There's also three guys that come in here, and I don't think there's really any way you can avoid them noting, knowing you're there. Unless you'd already killed them. Yeah, I can't do that right now. Quick save. Wake up, you bastard! I want proof in there now! Trinko, sir. I've got three men about to breach Nicolaj's office. Yep, so you have to kill three guys, and you can't really do anything about it. Well, there's one. Ow. Two. Three. And they're down, so that's, that's all we need to do. Put my gun away now, and I can use the med kit. And uh, now we need to Professor, use computer need a little bit more. The files from computer. This stuff is going straight to the president. Might be headed for military action, and we're going to need airtight proof. That's the end of it. Thank God. What exactly is going on? You wouldn't believe the numbers. Shit. Nikolaj has been systematically murdering his way through Azerbaijan. And we didn't know about it. Nobody did. What does he want? You can watch the news later. Rendezvous with Junior Wilkes for extraction. 
Yep, and there's some guys following me now. And it's my guy down here. My guy's not down here, son of a bitch. Oh well. We're done here. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's get the hell out of here. What the hell did you find in there, man? Lambert's flipping out big time. Some crazy shit. That we're going to war. All right, guys, that's the end of that mission. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for the next mission, for mission number four. Till then, guys, peace out.